Hey my loves, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to be sharing my wash day routine. How I wash my teeny weeny afro and get it looking from basic, looking all basic, all natural. And get it looking, you know, juicy, curls are popping, they're defined. So if this looks like something that you're interested in, then you want to keep on watching this video. So the first thing that I'm doing right now is to basically saturate my hair with as much water as possible. Okay, so I have low porosity um, hair, so I just stay there, let the water really enter into my hair, strands and all of that before I actually go into detangle with a white tooth comb. So you want to be detangling, make sure you're detangling on hair that has water or products or both of them so never detangle on dry hair you can start off with using your conditioner before going in with a shampoo or just detangle with water so this is the shampoo that i'm using is the truth by tassala shampoo and so far so good it smells nice um it feels nice and um, it actually doesn't strip my hair as much so my hair doesn't feel try after using it but i'm still um trying to you know get into it and know if i would love to recommend it to you guys but so far so good there's no i don't have any issues with it so i shampoo my hair twice because um a day before this day i actually put in some oils you know did the whole lc method with my hair so i had a lot of oil a lot of butter in my hair so the first shampooing process is just basically to cleanse that out you could see that it wasn't even you know um there was no lather at all so yeah that's what the oils in your hair when you have oils in your hair do with the whole shampoo process so you have to wash out the first shampoo and then shampoo the second time so that way you really cleanse your scalp and cleanse your hair strands okay so yeah because my hair is like a teeny weeny afro i basically just wash everything together usually you guys know i'm an advocate for oh wash your hair in sections just so that your hair doesn't get tangled up and all of that but you know we really don't have sections at this point so i just go in and i try to use my fingernails to really you know um scrub my scalp yeah trying to be gentle as well but i really scrub my scalp with my fingernails because um i tend to have itchy scalp so i just love to do the whole itching when it comes to shampooing so that i don't have to keep itching after wash day if that makes sense so after that i'm just gonna rinse this out Then next, I'm using the Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Conditioner. I love this conditioner. It smells so good and it has a really good sleep, guys. So I typically apply this, leave it in for about three minutes. That's what it says on the bottle. So that's what I do. I'm leaving it in for three minutes and then I just rinse it out. Pretty simple. Then I go in with the Truth Petasala deep conditioning mask. So this is like a deep conditioning um, treatment where I just apply the deep conditioner all over my scalp, all over my hair strands as well, front, back, middle, everywhere. And then after that, I go ahead to just massage it into my scalp, make sure it gets everywhere in my hair. Okay, and then after that I will go ahead to detangle using the same white tooth comb just detangle all of that and then next I'm going to put on my my plastic cap yeah after putting on my plastic cap I leave this in for about 30 minutes and I actually wish that I have a steam cap because um i the products didn't really get into my hair like it was just as though it was sitting on my hair this was after the whole 30 minutes so 
I feel like with my hair due to low porosity and all of that, I should really invest in getting a deep um, conditioning steam cap. So yeah, or maybe I should, you know, do more than 30 minutes, maybe like one hour or two hours under the plastic cap, just so that the products really, you know, penetrate my hair strands and do its magic okay so yeah that's basically it's about wash day so my hair feels very soft right now and i always make sure i have black castor oil in my hair routine so what black castor oil does this is a jamaican black castor oil by the way so what it does is that um it has moisturizing properties and it also helps to stimulate you know blood flow to your scalp which helps to get healthy hair okay so and also helps to prevent breakage and it's very good the only thing i don't like about it is the consistency so it has always been a staple in my routine when i had long hair before that was what helped me to grow my hair so usually i would mix it with the main choice growth oil which i would still recommend i'm out of that right now so that's why i just used the castor oil so it has a very thick consistency and it might get like really greasy on your hair so yeah make sure you follow that up with a leave-in conditioner curling product i'm using is the truth by tesla curl, curl pudding it's been good it's been doing the job of you know getting my curls up and running um if you don't have access to this i would recommend you use eco styler gel maybe i would have a video on trying different gels for you know finger curls basically but yeah this is how i define my short teeny weeny afro right so this is how i define my big chop so um basically what i'm doing is just using my fingers my index finger as well as my thumb to basically just um twirl the hair around basically just as the name implies you're using your fingers to curl your hair and as i'm doing that with my right hand i have my left hand you know separating the ones that i have done from the ones that i haven't done it it's quite asking with like short natural hair so if your hair is way shorter than my hair it might be difficult for you to grip it with your other hand so what i would advise you do is just like apply the product all over your hair and just use your fingers to move in circular motions basically what that does is that it creates the curls without you having to use your fingers one by one if that makes sense so basically this is what i do um make sure to keep applying whatever product you use whatever curling cream you're using just keep on applying that that's what helps with the curls you can see that once i just twirl it it basically forms the curls curls Right, so that's basically how I, you know, define my curls. I would say for you to get the perfect um, definition, make sure your hair is super moisturized. If not, after this, when your hair dries, it's going to be crunchy. Like, it's going to be very dry. So, for you to make this as juicy as possible. You guys know I love juice. <laughs> I really love when curls look juicy. So, um... For you to get the juice out of your curls always make sure that your hair is moisturized if not it's going to be stiff except you like it hard and you like your hair feeling you know stiff which i don't think is a good thing but yeah make sure your hair is moisturized this is what it looks like when it is um when i'm completely done this is what the back looks like if you have a big mirror you could use a big mirror to see the back while you're doing the back just so that you don't leave any any section undone so if you're an og you know that i love this gel it's i don't know the name it's just called hair wax and it's a staple for me when it when it comes to laying my edges so that's what i use to lay my edges it just helps me it's very easy for me so i always have this by my side when it's time to lay my edges and that's really it guys it's so simple this is my current wash day routine so it's like a wash and go routine 
where i just basically wash my hair and style it and i'm off literally it looks so good it looks juicy so yeah this is what my curls look like they are popping they are defined so when i got my big chop a lot of people said they've been wanting to get big chop but they don't know if they would look good in it guys the key to looking good in any hairstyle is wearing it with confidence even if you are a body even if you don't have hair even if you have all the hair in the world you need to wear it with confidence the world would adjust okay so i feel like anybody can look good in anything as far as you yourself you're confident in it okay so yeah thank you so much for watching i hope this video was helpful i hope you guys enjoyed it like this video subscribe if you are new you're welcome to the family and i'll see you guys in my next one bye